All right, welcome back for day number four. So today I'm continuing to use some of my tree lot photos. So I've got this photo of Max and Chris, and then I've also got this Instax square photo of the three of us with the tree. And so I pulled a bunch of embellishments and things here, partially because I hate just kind of leaving you guys hanging while I search for stuff. So I try to kind of have a good idea of where I'm gonna go with my plans. For this one, I'm really torn. I kind of like this green, but I'm loving the pink and the gold. So I think I'm gonna stick with the pink and the gold here. I've pulled up this um, piece from an old Paisley Press kit. That's just a star that says magic. And I'm gonna put the four underneath it, directly on the photo. I'm really not 100% sure yet which way I want this Fala La card. I love the color, but I also, I flipped it around to try it on the back and I also love the black and white. So I might try to do that thing that I sometimes do where I try to use both sides of the card. And even though it's the same sentiment on both sides, okay, so I've got my four there. So that's gonna go up here. And I just want to, I'll, I'm gonna skip ahead briefly here. I'm gonna come back to this. I'm gonna talk about this. So um, I made this um, quote from Home Alone, this Christmas is, this is Christmas, the season of perpetual hope. And then I backed it with all sorts of little pieces that I had around the my little scrap station here. And then on this side, I made Max a Home Alone style robe and, um, he was super excited. He thinks Kevin is the character uh, that he's seen in a movie or a TV show that's most like him. So he's a very excited to have this Kevin robe. And then I've got this quote, and then I've got room for the journaling for this one on the back. And I wasn't really sure where I wanted to put it. And I don't like, this is just one of my crazy weird quirks, I don't love having a bunch of inserts all in a row. I kind of like to spread them out and put the page protectors or even just dividers in between. So I didn't want it for number four. And I'm actually gonna push it down to after five because I, I have a great idea for five that I wanna do. So I'm gonna save that for, I'm gonna do the five idea with other pictures and stories. And this one I'm gonna actually put in here at six. And for six, what I had, first of all, was like the one, two, three, four, five, six stickers from the puffy sticker sheet. And I, what I've done is I added seven, eight, nine, 10, and I just moved that whole page protector down to day 10. So I'll do something with 10, because I still had these um, stickers ready to go. I didn't use them for anything else. So now I'll just increase that to a 10, probably I'll do it like a, a list, more of like a written page, probably no pictures, just journaling. And then I'm gonna put this in here for six. I've been getting a lot of questions on my Instagram about how I made this and specifically related to making the cut file itself and how I make those cut files. So for day six, what I'll do is I'll film a video of kind of how I set these things up and make them and how I cut them uh, rather than a process video of me putting it together to just kind of give you an idea of how you can make your own cut files um, like this. I'll just give a small word of warning. I only have a silhouette, so if you need um, Cricut advice, you'll have to look for that somewhere else. So going back to today and day four, I'm gonna put this photo of Max and Chris on this side, and then I want this wish list card, and like I said, I think I'm gonna do it with the pink side up. I'm gonna tuck it in for now. I'm gonna come back and fill it in. And then on this side, I was gonna put this star. I'm not sure what kit this is. I don't think this is from a December kit. I think this is from an old Studio Calico kit, but it's kind of a blue card with embossed gold stars on it. And my thought was, is I would put this one up there and maybe I'll add a little bit of something. Now, the more that I look at it, the more I think I do actually wanna turn this around and that means that this card doesn't work super well anymore. So I am gonna find a different journaling card. 
I'm gonna keep my stickers, I want those. Ooh, that's kind of cute. I like that too. I also like that. The great thing about buying the, um, ooh, the, sorry, I was gonna say, the great thing about buying the same kits year after year after year is that I end up with a lot of supplies that really work well together. Even if you don't use it on the year that you bought it for, it tends to work out pretty good. Oh, no, this is perfect. This right here is happiness. Um, I'm gonna go with that for sure. Oh, and then I find, no, I think that'll work. So you end up with a lot of supplies that just work really well together because they're done by the same designer or they have the same kind of theme. And I'm gonna pop this in there. One thing I find with these four by six ones is they don't always stay in the pocket super well. So I might find a way to kind of just tack that down so that it stays in. Now on this side, I don't have to, I don't think that's the, oh, I need two, okay. Oh. oh, I do like the pink side of this one, but I think I would probably go for the green. The only other thing I can think I might, no, I think I'm gonna go with this one. I like that look, I like that sentiment. That's a good combo. Anytime I find something that I like that much, I'm like, ooh, maybe you should just stick with it. Go with your instincts. All right, so now to adhere this one, I'm actually kind of thinking about, I really loved what Allie did with putting her small photo on the outside. And I have some of those I wonder if how the Instax squares fit in here. So these are the like the little flip up pop ons. I, don't, I can't remember what company makes these. It's a little tall. So if I could, but is that really necessary? Maybe if I, I don't think I need to use this sticky on the top. So I'm just going to trim this one off exactly at the top of the photo here. And I'm going to put that on in a similar way. And then I would, yeah, kind of the idea of pulling it out seems really fun to me. So I'm just going to use red line tape to adhere this because I cut the adhesive off. I never realized before that these Instax prints have a warning on the back that say, do not put in mouth. <laughs> well, yeah, that seems like a, probably some good advice. All right. Just to kind of give it a bit of a different look and texture. It's not really about needing it to come out of this pocket or anything like that. It's more about the, the kind of the look of it. So this is just an Ellie Studio, um, I think this was from the November release. It's a little kind of tab. They came in all sorts of different colors. I have them sitting out on my desk because they're so fantastic and just really versatile tabs. I can show you the, just some regular tabs, some of these rounded ones, um, like little tags. So really versatile product and just really easy to use on anything, not just December Daily. But I think I like the look of this black one here. And this is one of those times where I feel like, 
Oh, that's a little bit big. Oh, I used the small one. I love how those came with different sizes, but I kind of went a little gung-ho on the small one on my opening page there. So I'm gonna need, maybe I'm looking for, looking for a little bit of gold. I'm gonna grab a little gold star. Now, what I love about these Instax is it kind of gives the opportunity to put like a little date down here at the bottom. And what I tend to do for dates, I have this, this is I think the rolling time stamp from Ali's shop. I don't know if it's still available, but I'm not a huge fan of most of the date stamps that I see. And so, when she came out with this one, I really loved the whole look of it because it's kind of more of that classic typewriter font. And then it's got all kinds of like little icons that you can put with, with the, so I just do month and day often because I feel like the year of my albums is usually pretty self-explanatory like I'm not usually looking to a date stamp to get the year into my album okay now my best advice to you is always test oh yeah and see it's a good thing I did because while I said I wanted the day I put the year like a crazy person Okay, so I wanted, we did this on December 1st, so I wanted to be able to put, yes, and when you have these rolling stamps, giving, doing a test run just allows you to adjust the, the numbers up and down if you need to. So that'll go in there. Oh, I love it. It turned out perfectly. And then if I flip back to the other side here, take a quick look at what I've got on the other side of day four. Okay, I'm just gonna let that dry. Now, the only thing that this has not allowed me to do is add any journaling. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn this into a flip up so that I can add my journaling all along here. And I'm just gonna use because I don't want to have a picture or anything on the back, I'm going to cut a three and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because I find that to get out of the pocket, you need a little bit of height. So I'm going to cut it for eight and a half. So this is a three by eight and a half strip. I'm just going to fold it. And I'll attach that one there. So let, I, I might be able to trim this a bit. Let me just test it in the pocket. Oh yeah, I can't even. I needn't have been so worried. Perfect, that's the perfect size. So now I can put my journaling all down here and this I'll adhere on the front and then I'll put my washi tape on. So I am gonna use washi. I just don't like relying on washi for flip ups because I find that sometimes washi can um, peel off after the fact. journaling 
uh, on the little flip up and I'm going to just add similar to what I did on the other side with the little gold star I'm going to go ahead and add a gold star right there as well perfect so there's the flip up with the journaling and then this one and tuck in this extra little pocket. Perfect, I love it, it turned out so good. So that kind of leads off of my day three and I'll just show you here, I actually ended up changing out the number on my day three and adding this oh what fun. And then I just echoed that sentiment on the inside with a chipboard piece from Ellie Studio. So it's a little bit different than what you saw in the video uh, but the bones of it stayed the same. And then my day four, ready for my day five. My day five idea is a little bit more interactive and crafty, so hopefully I can show you something like that. Hopefully it doesn't take me forever to accomplish it. Thanks for joining me today.